Hi, my name is Lori Dobson, and this is Island Update. Today is April, Thursday. It's April 2nd, 2020. And uh, I wanted to show you something here. That's my spice cabinet and my colorful April calendar. And uh, my sister is uh, alphabetized hers. Mine is not. So uh, I wanted to talk about habits, daily habits, what works for you, what doesn't. And um, you know, everyone's different, but uh, I think that it's really good to, you know, this uh, 25 tips thing that I posted on my Facebook page. Let me get a good color here for the, there we are. Um, there's 25 tips that I posted my Facebook page that uh, someone had put on the MDI pandemic response and it was wonderful. And they were talking about a daily routine. So that one I wanted to concentrate on today. Um, just for a few minutes, just to say that uh, it really does help uh, that, uh, was it a Marine sergeant or a Marine official who who suggested everybody to maintain daily habits by beginning to make your bed and, you know, to do it really well, not just the, the quick thing. And that gives you energy to do the next thing. And I saw a wonderful uh, commercial. Well, it was a three minute, um, one of those three minute videos that they have on and I posted that to my Facebook page as well. It It's a motivational video. It's about a guy who's in bed and he decides he'll just do one thing after the next to the next to the next to the next. And um, so I said, okay, well, I usually throw my quilt over, but just today I, I just did it kind of more definitely, it took about 10 more seconds. And uh, it really did give me some energy. So uh, I use the energy to do the next thing and uh, it turned into basically uh, thinking ahead to tonight where I have a meeting at six o'clock and I put my alarm clock on so I could make sure I don't miss that or come in late um, and stop, you know, being quite so impulse driven. That's kind of my thing is, you know, it's great. I, I like to be spontaneous and not practice too much because I'm, I'm good on my feet, but it's it's important to have you know, planning is important as well. And that's something I've been also, since I've been a planner, impulsive planner, I don't know if the two go together, but somehow it works. But anyway, I also uh, did this <laughs> and it's an organization of my pill, my vitamin things, and I've just put them in a box and they're not alphabetized like my sister would do. She's, she's amazing that way, Karen. So, uh, however, I have those vitamins right there on the table and I'm not taking them off until I deal with taking what I need to take and getting them organized also. They say, and I also posted the uh, a very important study that came out of China and their experience and highly documented, uh, strongly supported medically, uh, their basic take on how this all happened, what it, how it manifests, how it progresses, what it is, how to identify it, uh, basically how to deal with it. And one of the big things was vitamin C and they talk about the doses and this and that and other, other methods. Uh, it, it's just a, a wonderful thing to read something that's been put out to that level of expertise. And I posted that on my Facebook page. So today I'm here drinking my licorice tea because it's good for your throat. My AA prayer, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So yesterday on Grand Brial, four minutes in and I'm just starting uh, to talk about the locality here, but I think it's important to establish routines, get yourself off to a good start, and it changes your attitude, it changes your whole outlook. So uh, I need that today because I'm going to have to face a few uh, things I've put, I postponed for a day or two, a couple of emails from some people that uh, I don't anticipate reading uh, because there's some pushback to my videos uh, that I've been doing here. Some people, uh, well, I got censored off of a Cranberry House message board. The one person, the administrator that did that, based that decision on the fact that I was not uplifting enough. I pointed out to her that two years ago, and I even saved the text to send, that uh, I uh, tried to impress upon her 
the concern that I had that some people were defending drinking and driving on the cranberries because it went together like ketchup and french fries. And she said, that's okay. That person can post that kind of saying. They can, they can do that. But uh, my videos here are not uplifting enough. And that was her reason for censoring me. I mentioned Catcher in the Rye. I don't know that she's a, a librarian and understands what censoring does in a community. So I said, you say you're a Cranberry Isles message board, but really you're a private club. And that's what the Democratic Party did when they went to, you know, they were called up on the carpet in court and defended themselves successfully and said, yes, we can actually do these measures, these election measures that prefer one candidate over another, even before the primary, because we're a private club. And I think there's a danger in that. So today uh, I want to talk about the difference between a public entity and a private entity. And a public entity are the people who, on, for example, Cranberry, let's use this island, these Board of Selectmen, and the officials are public entities, and they're there to do our will, our needs. They're addressing our needs, our future needs, and our present needs. And it does not help when officials use their position to, you know, to show feelings or emotions or of aggravation to those who they believe are not flying united like geese in a formation. The thing about an island, especially here, I found, is that there is no one single, one size fits all. Uh, I was told here not to expect, when I first moved here three years ago, to expect any kind of, of uh, general agreement on anything. So our boards need to accept that. Our selectmen, our rescue service, uh, everyone has their vantage point. And it's important to have these discussions like the Bar Harbor Board of Selectmen. Some people were pro-business over people's lives. And I think the, the compassionate entreaties of the doctors should, should be, people should be looking at what's the reality on the ground that they're dealing with, the desperate need for, for PPE that they're not getting, despite the platitudes from the president who has given, you know, over and over again, his opinions, his tweets, and it's this way because he says so. But thankfully, there are other places. There are other places to go to get the information you need, that um, balance out that view. And I think it's important to look into things, to question things, to be skeptical about power, especially in times like this when people abuse their positions, and that's been happening here. Uh, in a selectman's meeting, uh, one of the officials used it as a sounding board to basically tell me to stop my videos. And I think they're doing some good because people are, are listening to other points of view, even mine, which is perhaps unpopular now, but it is more and more what people are saying. We're an island at war, just like we're a country at war, just like our state is, is treating this as an emergency uh, which calls in all kinds of powers for her to act as if it's a wartime mentality, that we're fighting this huge foe and we must recognize the level of, of severity. At the same time, we have to keep ourselves strong, our hearts open, our minds clear, our bodies totally ready and primed. So today I'm going to be, it's raining, it's not friendly as much as it could be. It's not a nice, warm, sunny day, but doesn't matter. I'm going to take a long walk. I'm going to just prepare, get into the gear, and do it. My dogs can stay on their couch over there. They're, they were not e eager to go out, but I made them go out for a little bit. We're all going to have to do things we're not accustomed to or care about uh, that are against our grain, you know, allowing difference of, dif differences of opinion to be out there while we listen. We need to listen we also need to do what we can do to help deal with this. Everybody has value here. Everybody's voice is important. And I value you all and have a great day.